Hi, this is an update on my upcoming course, Time in the Gods, an Introduction to Platonist Cosmology. The course will be happening in November and December via Zoom, once a week, um, and finishing before the Christmas uh, break. It will be a cl one class a week, and about an hour and a half, and we'll be looking into specifically the philosophy of time that we can derive from Proclus, the most systematic Platonist philosopher. And the course will be divided into uh, three parts. There's a first introductory part we'll, where we'll look into the basics of Platonist cosmology. So how do we make sense of these Platonist philosophers when they're talking about the world? Uh, don't we know much more about physics now? How can we possibly make use of this? We'll look into their theology. So what is the divine? What is the indubitable uh, foundation of all knowledge, and also then into their notion of cosmic gods, the gods of this world, the, the, un the unshakable grounds of the perceptible uh, universe. So that's the first part. And then the second part, we'll be looking at some key features of time and the implications that Proclus draws from these. So one will look at an argument starting from the flow of time and its division into past, present, and future, and that concludes from this division of time the existence of formal, final, and efficient causes. That is, because things pass, because time is always passing, everything has a purpose, and also everything has a certain pattern, and everything has something that starts it off. And then we'll also look at an argument that starts from the unity or simultaneity of time, right? There's a single now for the whole world. And this is something that was uh, an issue of debate at the beginning of the theory of relativity. And how this leads to the conclusion, to the affirmation that there is a sympathy binding all things, that there is a world soul. And we'll look at the idea that time is measurable and that therefore there is uh, in principle, two regions of the world, one which is the changing earth and the other where there are the uniform motions of the heavens, which serve, as it were, to measure things on earth. And so we'll, um, we'll talk about these three arguments and the conclusions from them. And in the seventh and final class, we'll talk about the ethical conclusions from this. What does it mean to live in a world where everything has a purpose because everything because time flows, where there is this universal sympathy about um, binding things, where there is all, a relationship between heavenly and terrestrial phenomena, right? So this is an ethics that uh, it asks itself primarily not what is good or what is true, but rather what is the destiny of each person? What is my destiny? What is my vocation? What does providence have planned for me? So that's a... Um, uh, broad view of the course. There is now a syllabus online. You can find the link below at my personal website. Website. An important thing, the time slot, like what time of the week this class will take, is still open. I'm, I'm waiting for students to express interest so that I can find a time that will uh, fit the most uh, students possible. So please express interest as soon as possible. Um, the the class will not only include the lessons, which will be about an hour and a half each, but the, the lessons will, will be recorded for people who can't make it on the time and uh, still want to participate or for people who just want to review the material. Um, and there will also be in the Google Drive, including these uh, classes, the recordings, there will also be texts. And during the duration of the course, I'll be available during class and outside of class for questions and inquiries about the subject, and even to give feedback on short texts um, that are inspired by what we see in course. Um, the cost, finally, I've, I want to make this uh, accessible both to students in Brazil and also abroad. And um, because of exchange rates, there's no happy balance here. So this will cost uh, 500 reais, 500 Brazilian reais for the whole uh, course. Which, um, which will come out to a bit over $100, um, uh, given the exchange rate, and also given the fact that people in Brazil can pay by, via bank transfer. People from abroad will have to uh, pay me via PayPal, and there's a transfer fee from PayPal. So that's the course. Please access the syllabus below for more details, and also for 
for instance, how uh, this course differs from the contents in my book. And I look forward to um, hearing your questions. Thanks.